this video, we'll be seeing how to implement checkbox in Android. First of all, we can go to the resources, layout and activity main XML part. Go to the split mode and we can add a checkbox here. So remove the text view from here and add a checkbox. Warp content and warp content. And we need to add an ID for the checkbox. And we can change the parent layout to linear layout here. Give an orientation, vertical. Okay, now we can give a text for the checkbox. We can give a styling for the text also. Okay, now we are having a checkbox and we have given the text like checkbox here. You can actually change the text according to your need. And now we can give a text view. So when we check the checkbox, we'll be enabling the visibility for the text view. And when it is not checked, we'll be setting the visibility to gone. So for that, we can add a text view here. Let's give an ID for the text view. We can give a text for the text view. Now we can align the elements to the center. So go to the parent layout, the linear layout and give a gravity center. Okay, now we can style the text a bit. So we can copy the size and the style and paste it here. You can give a margin on the top. Margin top 10 dp. Okay, so that's it. Now that's all with the layout part. Now you can go to the activity main Java part. Here we have to create an object for the text view and also the checkbox. Now we have to initialize the objects. So come inside the own create method and call the checkbox equal to find view by id r dot id dot then give the id that we have given for the checkbox. So the id is checkbox one. Now, if you are having any doubt with the ID, you can go to the XML part and you can check here. So you can see the ID is checkbox one. So make sure the ID is correct. Then let's initialize the object text view. So now you can see we have initialized the objects that is the checkbox and the text view. We can see a red line here. We can simply ignore that when we run the application that will go away. So now we have to give a listener for the checkbox. So call checkbox dot set on check change listener and pass new on checked change listener. Okay. So you can see we have set a listener for the checkbox and this will check if the checkbox is checked or not. It will continuously listen for the action. And when the action occurs, it will call this function and we'll get the checkbox here and we'll get the state here. So here we'll be getting if it is a true or a false. If it is true, that means the checkbox will be checked. If it is false, the checkbox will be not checked. Okay, so here inside the on check changed function, we can set the visibility for the text view here. So for that we can call if and here we are having the boolean value as b we can change it to something meaningful. So let's change it to is checked. Okay, so we can check if is checked is equal to true. If it is true, we can set the visibility for the text view to visible. So you can see here, if it is checked, if the checkbox is checked, we are setting the visibility for the text view to visible and if it is not checked on the else part we can set the visibility for the text view to gone okay now that's all with the implementation now we can try running the application and check so here you can see that the app has launched and we are having a checkbox 
by default the text view is visible so we can either set it to a not visible or maybe you can set the checkbox to checked or we can also check the state here also so you can actually check the state something like this so come here and you can paste the code here so we simply copied the code inside this much from here and we can check the state like checkbox dot is checked okay now this will do the same now if you run the app once more you can see the text view is not visible that's because we are checking the state when we run the application okay and if it is not checked we'll be setting the visibility to gone so what happens here is we are setting the text views visibility to gone first then and inside the listener when we check the checkbox you can see the text view is appearing see and when we check it once more the text view goes hope you understand so that's all with the implementation part so if you have any doubts you can leave a comment below and i'll respond to them if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos